What up guys, it is Jimmy Sesh here again. Oh my gosh, I am so, so tired. Today I'm gonna talk about my comp. Alrighty guys, comp was a couple days ago. This is me after a couple days and my CNS is absolutely fried up. I took two days of training, two days of just counting macros because my body just needed to relax. I was in spa treatment. Squats felt amazing on the day. I opened up with 185. Squat! And then my second attempt was 200. 200 moved really fast, and that was the fastest that 200 ever felt. And then Dan's like 215. Alright. And now this is my goal, okay? My goal was to, to get 215 and it didn't really come up at all. I got stuck in the hole, but now I know. I know, I know that's what I need to focus on now. I need to work on my explosiveness out of the hole now, which includes a lot of pause squats, a lot of box squats, a lot of everything, you know? Secondly, my bench was good. I opened up uh, 95 kilos, and then that felt really good. Then 105, so that's PB. That's five kilo PB on my bench press. And then I went up to 215, which is very stupid because as soon as it came down, I got stuck here. I went like that. I'm like, I couldn't move. I didn't kill myself there. But thank you to Dan and all the spotters. It was awesome. And then deadlifts, deadlifts. 185 was what I opened with. I repped that beforehand. And then 200. Now 200, this deadlift has been on my mind for a very, very long time. This has been on my mind for about six months now, this number. I finally achieved it now. 200 is finally in my back. I'm finally in the 500 total now. But 200 came out really good now on my second attempt, and Dan's like, dude, 210, 210. Went up to 210, I got it up, and I lost all focus, and I wasn't quiet like what the Natty professor said. I wasn't quiet as a church, I didn't. I wasn't focused. And I, the adrenaline was rushing through me, and I slammed the weights instead. Come on, come on. I slammed the weights and it was a no lift, but I was happy. But as I slammed it, I brought it down on my knee. And as you can see, it is very, very bruised up right now. And hence, this is why I've been in the spa for a couple, couple days now, just to fix this up. Nothing major, got it checked out. Nothing that will hinder my lifting. But from all this experience, I take back home now a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of 
stuff to work on now, a lot of homework. First off is obviously the squats and the stuff in the hole. And the next three months, I'm gonna actually really, really, really focus on my bench press and deadlifts because I know I know I can maintain my squats and just gradually increase that. But when it comes to my bench and dead, it's actually putrid compared to other competitors on the day. And I need, just need to work on a lot, a lot of accessories. I realize that and that's what I'm gonna really, really focus on and zone in on. My next goal from now is to actually lose another 10 kilos over six months. Another six months, lose 10 kilos and compete in the A3 weight class at the end of the year. Haven't really decided what federation I'll join, but that is my goal right now. Hopefully, in the A3 weight class, I wanna maintain my 200 squat as a second attempt, and then whatever happens. But as I'm, as I'm gradually decreasing weight, I wanna obviously increase strength and muscle mass. That has happened in my previous cut, which has led up to the Never, never For Settle For Average comp that 10X hosted and it was an amazing event. Nonetheless, couldn't do it without my team. The man behind the camera right now, Rohan, has well competed very well. He did well in his squats, bombed down in the bench a little bit because you know the weights were a little heavy. Deadlifts were good. He got 180, he came up, but he hitched at the very top. It was considered no lift, but in my eyes he got it. Hence, he, is, he deadlifted three times his body weight, which is absolutely incredible and insane. It was all due to his hard work nutrition and everything and his pre-workouts of course. Paris, Adam, Dan, Joel, Jared with the crazy merch, my brother, Jose, Nick, Nikra, all the refs, Jamison, Brands, Jake, can't thank you guys enough. Lincoln, Josh, you guys allowed us to host our event at your gym and it was absolutely incredible. To all the family and friends that came to support the competitors, thank you for coming out. You guys absolutely created an amazing vibe. We're keen to host another one very soon. But yeah, those are my goals, my mental cues, my homework that I need to do. And yeah, peace out guys, till next time. This is James Comp.